Yo soy tu padre. Hello, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com, and my almost four-year-old daughter loves that stuff with her current Star Wars kick. Anyway, uh, we're in the Pipulate project, and uh, as you may recall from last time, I made this form mutually exclusive so that you could either do that or you could do that. And either one works. If none is filled in, whoops, I guess it still has the sample form in there. If none is filled in, it just gives you the form back. If both are filled in, I'll have to do a win-loss scenario there. And I want to make it so that when you fill in an accurate key right here, it's actually going to do question mark replacement. And you can get one of those keys by just doing this. You can also do it through the, uh, the share button. And for testing, I actually had made the permissions uh, share to the world. I think I'm going to undo that. It's not really a critical part of this uh, video, but uh, anyone with a link, off. That was part of some earlier debugging I was doing having to do with permissions. But anyway, I fill in the accurate key there now. And at the moment, it's just going to say I would pipulate now, but we want it to actually do the question mark replacements. And at the end of the last video, I actually tried to move that required if uh, function to the bottom, but there's some sort of order sensitivity in class declarations in this particular situation in how it's referred to right here. So it actually has to have encountered it to do that. So I have to move both classes to the bottom or keep them together here. So for right now, because I'm going to be modifying that form a bit probably still, I'll keep it here. And we were working with the uh, the get method. So here's the detection of the post method. The post method is when you like upload files and you don't want that stuff to try and be crammed into the URL. It's invisible metadata on the submit. That's what a post method is. The get method is when that data is actually visible on the URL as G key equals something. And that doesn't apply anymore. I need to grab the data out of the form submit using the post method because uh, they're both part of the same form. They've got to have the same submit method and because one of them has to be post, they both have to be post. And I did a little bit of Googling to figure out how to pull data out of the uh, post method. So we already have this detection here and we have a validation check. So now I need to reach into the form and get form dot g key dot data right and um, this doesn't apply anymore there's no detection of that this doesn't apply anymore and then these two just barely apply shift v d if form validated instead of i would pipulate now we want it to actually do the uh, the process out then it I pipulated. And uh, a lot of this doesn't make sense anymore. If else, just rebuild the form really is all we want to do. Okay, but now we need to actually uh, get the data out of the form here. So instead of request args get, it is uh, form dot g key uh, dot data. Don't forget that dot data. And now there's one more thing. It's going to create an error because uh, because I'm in debugging uh, this pipulate function here uh, 
spins through twice. It does once for GDocs and does once for local uh, because it's always expecting uh, both to be there. But now I actually deleted out the, uh, the sample data, the sample.csv from that directory. Uh, so you can see here, ls, no sample.csv. So we can't let it attempt to, uh, to process it. Uh, so all I do is I delete out local here. There's going to be a better way to do this in the future so that it really does just one or the other based on what the submit is. But that is probably everything necessary now to make sure the server has restarted. Ah, oh, indentation error, line 77. That's why we check here. Colon 77. Else. Okay. Rebuild form and return. That might have been earlier. I don't see an indentation error. So as you're making modifications to your file and saving, if you introduce a syntax error, the server is going to automatically stop and not be able to restart. And that's what happened right there. Okay. Drum roll, please. Do we have question mark replacement? No, we have an error. And, uh, oh, pipulate is not defined. It, it's just a spelling mistake. Uh, one of the things I did uh, earlier also is change the, uh, the class of the form to initial uppercase. And I did a global search and replace, which I think might have changed that spelling. So, oh no, I didn't do that. Hmm, interesting. So I just introduced a misspelling somewhere. Well, let me make that change here. I don't like class pip form in all lowercase. It should be colon s, colon percent s, pip form slash p i p f o r m to stay closer to the uh, pep conventions. Yes, yes, yes. Three instances. Spelling is corrected here. Server stopped and restarted. Key value still filled in. Pipulate. Is this going to work? It says still waiting. Could go either way. Hey, question mark replacement. Yay, success dance. Well, thanks for joining me. And oh, just a few words. I mean, I still have to support file upload. We're not. We're not out of the, uh, uh, the basics yet, but I do have it. Uh, if, if the form validates, it jumps right into uh, question mark replacement for, uh, for G key, for if it's the, uh, the Google spreadsheet uh, approach. I need to add some logic here to detect the presence of G key uh, versus um, CSV file, and then it will uh, be much closer to uh, release. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.